So today we are going to be constructing the altitudes of a triangle. All right, and we're going to construct it using a compass. Now I've got two different examples to do because sometimes altitudes are inside of the triangle and sometimes they're outside of a triangle. So it's helpful to see both kinds of examples. All right, so for this first one, construct altitude BD. So here's triangle ABC. We want the altitude from the vertex B because B is in the altitude. And remember the definition of an altitude. And I'm gonna sketch this out so we know exactly what we're doing here. Here's, here's A, B, C. Okay, the definition of an altitude is the line segment that goes from the vertex to the opposite side, but perpendicular to that opposite side. Okay, so we want a segment that's perpendicular to segment AC, but goes through point B, just like that. Now, in order to construct that, we are going to basically construct the perpendicular to this through this point. Okay, now to do that, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to extend this line segment AC a little bit in both directions because we're going to need some length on this thing. So I'm just going to make it a little bit longer here just in case we need it. Okay, You may or may not need it. Now I'm going to use my compass setting from point B and I'm going to make it long enough so that it hits that line segment in two different places. All right, So that looks pretty good, right? So I'm going to swing my arc and hit it in two spots. All right. Now, from there, I'm going to go off each intersecting spot. So see where the arc intersects the segment here and it intersects there? I'm going to take my compass setting and it doesn't have to be the same as before. I'm going to make it a little smaller because I'm a little short on room. But it does have to be more than half the distance from where the arc hits the line segment. Okay, but from here, I'm going to take my compass and swing an arc down below on one side. And then using that same compass setting on the other side and swing an arc. Now, what am I basically doing? I'm basically doing the same construction that we've done before. We've done this construction of constructing a perpendicular line through a point. When you have a line and a point and you're constructing a perpendicular through it, that's basically what we're doing here. We have a line and we're, we could almost ignore the rest of the triangle and focus on that point B. And we're basically doing that exact same construction on this triangle. Okay? So I've got my point right here that I'm going to draw my line through. So I'm going to go from B to that point right there. And I know this is perpendicular because I basically constructed a perpendicular. And that's all we really need for an altitude, a perpendicular through that point B. All right, we do need to name it segment BD. Here's B, so this will be D. This point right here will be D. And we know it's perpendicular there. And this is my altitude. Okay. Now notice this altitude is inside of the triangle. It's not always going to be inside the triangle. So that's why I have a second example for you. All right. This one says construct altitude G, J. So again, I'm going to do a little sketch so we can kind of picture what's going on here. So this time we have a triangle that kind of sticks out a bit. So here's G. Okay. And an altitude for this would go from G perpendicular to the opposite side. But in order for it to be perpendicular to this opposite side, it's going to actually have to go down this way. And imagine this side being extended, it would be perpendicular like that. And that's the construction we're going to have to do. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to extend this side because we're going to need this side to go further out. You can already kind of tell the altitude is going to be over here somewhere. All right. But once we've extended it out, now it's not much different than the way 
we did before. We're going to take our compass and we're going to set it so it is big enough so that from point G, I can hit that line in two places. It needs to be a little bit bigger. There we go. Swing an arc, hit that line in two places, here and here. And now, I'm going to change my compass setting so it's a little smaller because I'm a little short in space here. Now, we need to find another point to draw our altitude through. Okay, so compass setting more than half the distance from where the arcs hit the line. And I'm going to swing an arc from one side. And using that exact same compass setting, I'm going to swing an arc from where the arc hits the other side. There we go. And see where they intersect? That's where our altitude is going to go through. So it's going to go from G through that spot right there. There we go. And we know this is perpendicular because we've basically just created a perpendicular to a line. All we need to do is label that point because altitude GJ is what we want. So this is G. This point here will be our J. And there's our altitude. Okay, so what we're basically doing here is constructing a perpendicular to a line through a given point. You could almost imagine just point G just floating up there and then having a line down below. And what you're just doing is creating a perpendicular to it. Okay, so hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.